Welcome to Fire Engineering Training Minutes. I'm John Simpson. Today we're going to talk about what's in your pockets. Many firefighters carry different tools throughout their pockets. and Sometimes they just have tools stuffed everywhere. With my gear I like to utilize my different pockets for different hands that I use. First I keep a pair of cutters down in my pocket. My right hand side, I'm right handed. So I utilize that on normal calls, auto extrications, anything like that when I need to cut wires. Secondly, I carry a, a pair of gloves, my firefighting gloves, or utility gloves. Many times on the fire grounds when we're wrapping up hose or we're doing extrication work, we may want to utilize extrication gloves or utility type gloves to make things easier to operate. And again, so we don't contaminate our fire gloves any further. Third, I carry a utility knife. It's just a simple knife that you can buy at the hardware store. If you lose it, it's only a couple dollars and doesn't have a tendency of walking away. Again, we can use this for cutting seat belts and vehicles if we have to cut any other material, tapes, or anything like that while we're operating inside the building. Or again, if we become entrapped and we need a knife, it's easy to operate with our gloved hand. In my left pocket, I just carry a pair of gloves, my, my firefighting glove and my uh, utility glove for my left hand in there. I'm predominantly right-handed, so I use all my working tools in the right-hand pocket of my pants. My right pocket of my bunker coat carry a universal screwdriver. With this screwdriver, we can also have various tips on the end, and it also changes around so we have the other end with the tips. On these ends of the screwdriver, we can take out the tips. We can utilize this for removing nuts and bolts. M many times in Florida here, we utilize this for going to the air conditioner and taking panels off the air conditioners to gain access to the motors or belts that may have burned up. Also in this pocket I carry a spring-loaded center punch for operating at vehicle extrication or if we have to gain some access into a residential house we may choose to use this instead of using a hand tool. My left coat pocket carry a wedge. Many times we want to chalk the door as we go in so our door doesn't close behind us if we're doing an investigation or if we're stretching hose lines in there again we want to chalk the door so the hose doesn't close on our hose line. Next I've got a, um, a painter's knife. You can utilize that as a shove knife. You can see it has the curvature here which we can swing slide back behind the keeper of a door and open the doorway just the same way a shove knife would work. With this, I've found to be a little bit stronger and more heavy duty and doesn't bend and easier accessibility into the door. On my right hand side, instead of carrying my radio up here, I carry another set of cutters. On these cutters, you'll see that I have a strap on there so I can put them through my hand and they'll always be there and I will um, not lose them in an emergency situation where I may be entangled or trapped with wires. And with my gloved hand, they're always there. I can operate them and cut. You notice these are heavy duty cable cutters. Utilize them for a bigger wire inside of a building. On my left side, I carry a flashlight. It's on my coat permanently and I keep it always charged. I like to carry two flashlights, one up on my left hand side and then again, one my box light on the right hand side. Talk about our radio. There's many controversy over the radio strap. I like to utilize it, uh, the radio strap underneath my coat with my mic hanging out, easy access with my fire gloves on. One of the things I learned several years ago that a uh, downed firefighters in Salisbury, North Carolina, they were entrapped in a building, they keyed up their radios, the signal came through but no audio came through. With tests after that fire, they proved that the wires in the microphone were started to melt together and they were unable to get the audio through. So that's the reason I like to carry the, my radio strap underneath my coat. My hood, my hood is pinned into the back of my jacket so it never walks away. If I'm out on another call, all I have to do is flip it over my head. This is what works for me, where the way I have my gear laid out. You should try it yourself, figure out which best layout works for you. I'm John Simpson, thank you for watching Fire Engineering Training Minutes.